Hello, dear viewers, and welcome back to our channel. Let me share some breaking news with you today, and it's not the kind of story that will be written about in the fancy leather-bound books kept in Buckingham Palace. We will analyze the theories circulating in the media, not just on social networks, about what this statement might be regarding. It seems that things have been quite intense, with several surprises since the start of the week. The drama began with the fallout between Harry and Meghan, alongside Mike Tyndall's PR appointment. Why has Prince Harry been pushed aside? How did Mike Tyndall become a key figure in this royal shakeup? After years of public accusations and personal grievances aired by the Sussexes, King Charles, Queen Camilla, and the rest of the royal family have quietly but strategically turned the tide. Invitations to major events no longer seem to be extended to Harry and Meghan, and as a result, the couple has become increasingly irrelevant in royal discussions. While many believed Harry would retain his title, the king made a bold decision to strip him of one of his major titles. The process is complex. Charles can easily revoke titles like Prince, but stripping Harry of his dukedom, earldom, and baronetcy would require an act of Parliament. This loss is a personal blow, signaling that the monarchy is moving forward without him in a significant way. Given Harry's passion for military causes, the removal of this title feels particularly harsh. At the same time, Mike Tyndall, a former England rugby player, has emerged as a surprising figure in this royal shake-up. Married to Zara Phillips, the daughter of Princess Anne, Tyndall has managed to maintain a low profile throughout his life. So why did King Charles choose him over Prince Harry? Known for his down-to-earth demeanor and successful rugby career, Tyndall is relatable and embodies a strong sense of duty, aligning with King Charles' vision of a modern monarchy. As the new Captain General of the Royal Marines, Tyndall will represent the Royal Marines at various events and support charitable causes. He will also promote sports, fitness, and mental health awareness. His laid-back style may modernize the British military's image for younger generations. Despite a rise in profits this year, there is still controversy surrounding the royal family's expenditures. The two kings have chosen to delegate responsibilities, with Mike Tyndall actively participating in public service making him a highly qualified candidate for this significant role. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, isn't this a bit harsh? Don't Meghan and Harry deserve compassion too? To that, I ask, where was their compassion when they were trashing the royal family on opera? Where was their compassion when they were making wild accusations of racism, knowing full well the royals couldn't respond? Where was their compassion when they were monetizing their grievances, turning family dramas into Netflix fodder? No, my friends, the time for compassion has long passed, and these two have burned their bridges. Now, they stand on the other side, wondering why no one is willing to swim across the flames to reach them. The monarchy has historically thrived on its image as an unshakable institution, and engaging in public disputes with its own members would only erode that image. Charles and Camilla's silent treatment of Harry and Meghan has shifted the narrative. While the Sussexes' early revelations sent shockwaves, the drama has since faded as they become further removed from the heart of the monarchy. However, some critics argue that mismanaged decisions could further exacerbate existing divisions within the family. As Harry loses his title of prince, his children, Archie and Lilibet, may lose their titles as well, though they would retain the title of Lord and Lady Dumbarton, and their parents would still be known as the Sussexes. The king's deep connection with his grandchildren makes this situation even more delicate, and the matter is still under deliberation, with no final decision yet made. The British monarchy is now at a critical juncture, facing both significant challenges and opportunities as it looks to the future. The choices made today will shape the monarchy's future, and the world will be watching closely to see how the royal household responds to this evolving situation.